And finally, here's my bed. I got a doodle with pigeons on it because pigeons rock. Oh yeah, and I've got this big machine next to my bed I have to attach to my head at night so that I don't talk in my sleep. And a few vomit buckets on the floor because that happens. And then here we are at the front entrance. Big boring blue doors with a keypad on the wall. Only the nurse and the doc use it. None of us are ever allowed through them, unless we're being taken somewhere else in the hospital for some reason. Very secretly, of course, lest someone should see the abominations. <gasps> and so concludes this magnificent tour of the absurdity unit. What do you reckon? Kind of just sounds like how I imagine it, to be honest. Right. Is this door the only way in and out? There's a door at the back as well, in the kitchen. Not sure where it leads, of course, but the doc and the nurses use it from time to time. Keep out there as well. Why, are you thinking of escaping? No, no you're I'm not. not. Sorry, I should just let you answer. It's so hard to just stop talking and let someone else answer when I can just keep talking and say the answer myself. It's, it's a bad habit I've been working on. So you, you said you're in here because you chewed on radioactive gum? Yeah, I just picked it up off the ground. I'm not supposed to say where. It's pretty surprising when you find out how much nuclear testing was done in the last century. There's freaky stuff everywhere. All these government people are trying to cover it up. Really? Yeah. It's like we're living in a TV show or something. Maybe there's someone else out there who also chewed radioactive gum and is like me. And we'll meet one day and fall in love and have an incredible, honest relationship because we'll always know how to say what each other are thinking. You still talking this poor girl's ear off, hey, Laura? Nurse Harris, yes, I am. And I'll have you know she's actually enjoying it, just like you do. I'm sure she is. Nurse Harris and I have long chats about all sorts of things. How about we give her a rest now, though, eh? It's been a long day. Have you taken your pills? Nope. Well, now seems like the perfect time to go do that, and you can meet us in the kitchen for dinner. Fine. Thanks for the tour, Laura. You're very welcome, Bernadette. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'd take what she tells you with a grain of salt. Isn't her thing that she can only tell the truth? She can say things that turn out to be true. That's not the same thing. You know, this whole place is stranger than any of us really know. Any logical reasoning of this stuff is purely experimental. We're just making it all up as we go along. Do you know how new this place is? It's one year old. Just one year. For half that time, we only had two patients. It was just me, Dr. Ember, Harry and Laura. It's all so new, so experimental, so unlikely. But it has so much potential. You still seeing strange things with your eyes shut? I'm not sure right now. It's all a bit blurry. Hmm. That's a shame. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter. I'm just going to forget about all this tonight, right? I believe that no memory is ever completely gone. J just dormant. Did you take me out last night, when I was kicked out? You took me out of here, right? To the regular doctors. Did you stay with me? to check that my memory was wiped properly. If a member of staff assisted with your return, they should really be fired. I see. You have got to be kidding me right now. What's the problem? Look at this. Oh, what's going on? We're at the kitchen. Dr. Ember thought it'd be a good test. I'm not eating that. More for me then. You eat a lot for a constipated man. What is it? What's going on? We've got fish for dinner. We're not going to force you to eat it, Laramie. Your strong reaction is informative enough. There are some leftovers in the fridge. Thank you. So you can, like, speak fish, yeah? Something like that. And you're disgusted by the thought of eating fish? Yeah. Are you turning into a fish? What? Why would you say that? What? It makes sense to me. What's your thing again? You can see stuff? I see stuff too with the right medications. I think I... I think I see people as things that matter to them, I think. Like maybe a secret you're keeping. What do you see when you look at me? It's all just fuzzy at the moment. It comes and goes. Here's a plate for you, Benedict. Thanks. Had a good tour of this little prison then, have you? Yeah. Although, no one's told me yet what mysteries you're all currently trying to solve. Like, what are the open cases? Yeah. Nothing to get excited about. There was a strange rat seen on level 5. Level 9 keeps complaining that it's colder than every other level, and we haven't worked that one out yet. That one's pretty old, though. 
bit of a cold case. <laughs> there have been sightings of a kid running with scissors on level six. Oh, and a patient totally disappeared. That one's pretty interesting. Then there's the long-running case of the missing pens. What a thrilling mystery. Will that one ever be solved? Yes, it will. I will solve it. I will say right now that there is a Dr. Burr on level three who is hoarding them in his desk bottom drawer. Oh, well, there you go. Case closed. Honestly, that's how most of the cases are solved. Just let Laura get talking. How does that not solve every case? I have my limits, as we all do. I've talked about you for hours, Lucas, and frankly still don't know why you're here when you could be off not shitting literally anywhere else. That's what I've been saying. Well, I'm off to bed. Night all. Bye forever again, Bernadette. Yeah, me too. Good night. Good night. Yeah, see you tomorrow, guys. Who was that? Harry. Oh, I forgot he was here. So, who's here now, in the kitchen with us? That's just me and Lucas. He's almost finished devouring, like, totally all of the fish. You guys know that thing, the Christmas Carol? A Christmas Carol. The story. With Scrooge McDuck? You know, the ghosts? Yeah. What do you think of them? The ghosts? Yeah. Do you think... Do you think ghosts are a real thing? Sure. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I better head off to bed, too. Good night. 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 Not weird at all. What was that about? You get used to people saying some strange shit around here. Well, sounds like everyone's pretty much gone to bed. How long until the doc returns to wipe your memory again? What's the time? Nine o'clock. I've got about two hours then. I get why you like it here. I've been here a while and I've grown to admire it. Some of these older guys, they can't see it. They've grown all stale and all they want to do is go home to their boring lives and do jobs where they don't have to consider impossible things or be around anything unusual. And that's fine, that's nice for them, but I don't know how I could go back to that. Will you have to? If they cure you or something, will they, like, wipe your memories and kick you out like they did to me? Yep. It's the same fate awaiting us all. Even though you've been here for, what was it, like a year? They've got their memory wiping potion, their discharge drug, as they call it, down to an exact science. They can remove an exact specific amount of time from your head, however long or short. But what would you do? If you haven't been out of here in a whole year, I mean, where do your friends and family think you are? All I know is they've been told I'm in the psychiatric ward being treated for my craziness. I don't know, sometimes I think that might be true. Or maybe I'm in a coma, and this is all a really long dream. That's horrible. Well, you can see why some of the others are a little pessimistic about this place. Ah! What was that? Laramie. Come on, I'll wheel you over. Uh, Laramie, what's going uh, on? Bad dream? I can't bear it. I can't bear it. What is it? Screaming. It's like screaming. I can hear it. Like fish? Huh? Does it sound like fish is screaming? Yeah. Like a baby. Like a fish baby? A fish baby screaming and and crying. Here, take some of your pills and drink this. (sighs) Just try to relax. Nurse just went out back any minute. Laura? What's up? Are there, like, air ducts in here? Like, are there any... Like grills in the wall, for air conditioning or ventilation or something. Like, big enough to crawl through. I think. I think there's one just over near Lucas's bed. Why? Can you take me to it? You thinking of escaping again? No, no you don't I want don't to want escape. to escape. All I've got waiting for me out there is an essay on asphalt and other road surface materials. No, I'm staying. I'm going to solve a mystery. A mystery? Which one? The strange rat? No. Cold level nine? No. The kid running with scissors? No, not that either. I'm going to solve the mystery of Lucas's superpower. Bloomin' heck. Hey guys, what's going on? Mary? I heard a noise over here, then I smelled something. Yeah, Lucas was in pain. No, that's not it. 
You see, I thought my ability was smelling pain, but I've just realised. I've always been surrounded by pain here, so of course I'd smell that. But just now, now I don't smell pain. Now I can smell... <laughs> excitement. Absurdity Unit is created by Thomas Medina, produced with Joseph Baronio. Music by Thomas Feel, starring Coco Lawton, Philippa Johnston Leake, Penny Frost, Robert McDonough, Danica Jenner, Johanna Hayes, Kate Wyville, Nathaniel Kelly, Joseph Baronio, Jack McMillan, Sean Guy, and Max Conahan. Find out more at absurdity.pinecast.co.